PDA Parts presents the iPhone 3G Generation 2 Take Apart Directions. Warning, the following directions will avoid your warranty you're performing this repair at your own risk. This video is copyright AX Microsolutions Inc. Make sure to click the subscribe button and also click the link to our website pdaparts.com on the right side of your screen. Using the SIM removal tool, or if you don't have one available, use a paper clip and remove the SIM tray. Using a small Phillips screwdriver, there are two screws located at the bottom of the iPhone, right on each side of the main connector. Remove both of those with the small Phillips screwdriver. Using a case opener tool, start near the first screw that you took out and you'll be able to pry the screen loose using a case opener tool from PDAparts.com. There are still three cables holding the display to the motherboard. They are numbered 1, 2, and 3. Make sure you remove them in that order. The third one is a little tricky as it is pushed in and not just pushed down on the connector you'll lift a small white tab at the back of the connector up to about a 45 degree angle and the ribbon will slide out. Stop right here if you are only replacing the full screen assembly including the LCD and digitizer. You need to go no further. All you'll need to do at this point is put the new screen assembly in and reattach the three cables and the two screws at the end of the unit to reassemble. We're now going to remove the LCD from the touch panel assembly. There are three screws on one side. Two of the screws are under tape. You will need to lift that tape to get them out. Using a small Phillips screwdriver, please remove the three screws on this side of the LCD and touch panel assembly. Using the same small Phillips screwdriver, remove the other two small screws on the other side of the screen assembly. There is one more screw at the top back of the assembly that will need to be removed with a small Phillips screwdriver also before you're able to remove the LCD assembly. Using a case opener tool, gently remove the LCD assembly. Stop here if your goal was to replace either the LCD assembly or the touch panel assembly. You're now able to put the new parts back in and put it back together. Removing the rest of the cables, number 4, 5, and 6, in that order, will now allow us to remove the motherboard and get to the battery. All three of the connectors, 4, 5, and 6, are just pressed onto the motherboard. Just carefully pull them up and they will come off of the connectors on the motherboard. We're now going to remove a total of seven screws. One of the screws, which we'll show you here in a second, is underneath a label. You'll need to remove that label and remove that screw first using a small Phillips screwdriver. Using the case opener tool, you're gently going to lift the motherboard away from the bottom assembly. Be careful, the camera is still attached on the bottom of the motherboard. 
you'll need to lift that connector off of the motherboard in order to remove the motherboard completely out of the assembly. The battery is only held in with some double sided tape on the back. You can either use the case opener tool or the plastic tab they provide to be able to pop out the battery from the back assembly. There's no other connectors holding it in place. For all your parts and accessory needs, please be sure to visit us on the web at pdaparts.com. Use coupon code YouTube for a 5% discount at checkout.